Karibuni tena kupitia Naj Media Center tunakuletea kipindi kingine ambacho leo ni kipindi maalum tunapenda kuwazungumzia kidogo um, habari ya mjini Zanzibar weekend hii mambo ni moto kama hujajua basi ka hapa utusikilize Amazon Zanzibar Festival ambayo inaendelea kuanza itaanza kusema kweli kuanzia Jumamosi hii na itakwenda kuanzia tarehe 17 mpaka tarehe 30 Julai leo nitakozungumza na baadhi ya waandalizi na wasimamizi wa exhibition hiyo ambayo itakwepo hapo mji mkongwe Zanzibar welcome to our special edition my name is Naj and today um just on this special edition we'll be talking chit chat a little bit about the upcoming Amazon Zanzibar art exhibition starting on the 17th this coming saturday until july 30th with me is Saeed Raith, Helen Luba and Salma Said without further ado i will let them first introduce themselves let you guys introduce yourselves for 30 seconds and uh we will start with Said Salma and um then we will go to Helen and then to Luba so Said could you tell us uh what is your position in this festival who you are and what do you do well i am the chair of the Amazon from Amazon Zanzibar Foundation uh which is which has been organized and sponsoring uh, the first art exhibition uh, that this organization is going to uh, have. Omar Salim Adim, and I am the event manager for the Emerson Zanzibar Foundation. Hello. My name is Helen Peaks, and I am on the board of the Emerson Zanzibar Foundation and also was a great friend of Emerson for over 30 years. Great. And last but not least, we have Luba. Hi, my name is Luba Roshina, and uh, I am the creator of the uh, All Things Emerson Zanzibar exhibition. Uh, I'm friends with the team of Emerson on Hurumzi Hotel and i am honored and happy to be part of this project great okay let's um talk a little bit about the foundation briefly um who can tell me what it is what it does okay <laughs> well the foundation is a special fund set by amazon uh, uh amazon schemes in his last days here in zanzibar and it mainly supports uh, educational and cultural projects yeah and uh, for the for the last six years okay the foundation also uh, is made of a of, of board members who were handpicked and actively involved in promoting the work of the foundation as i said in on, on in in culture over the last 6 years we have successfully created two awards one for a film uh and one for music and these awards are presented plus should i say these awards are funded by by the uh foundation and are presented at two major festivals one is the zanzibar international film festival and the other is uh, sauti zabusara also international film which i should add is they were uh, uh, set up firstly the uh, the international film festival or i should say uh, amazon the late amazon skins was a driving force in establishing the uh film the international film festival and he was a co-founder of the uh sauti uh zabusara music uh festival yeah and we are delighted this year to launch our first uh art award 
under the curation of uh, Luba Rociana and the, the wonderful team, a very small team we have uh, at the Amazon Foundation, uh, Salma Adim and Helen Peaks here, who will be talking more uh, about uh, the event and our work also at the foundation. Okay, I'd like now to pass you on to uh, Helen, who is the founder board member, as well as someone who have known uh, uh, the late Emerson Scheme for nearly 30 years here in Zanzibar. Uh, Emerson Schemes, without Emerson Schemes, this art exhibition wouldn't be happening today. He came to Zanzibar back in the late 1980s and he created the first boutique hotel, Emerson House. And since then, he created two other hotels, the Emerson Spice and the Emerson on Harumzi. Now, he was a raconteur, very popular, very personable, both with local people and also with international people who came to visit. So he was entertaining diplomats and ambassadors and he was very flamboyant in all the best ways so he he did he all the things that he loved he loved opera he loved music he loved film so what he decided was he'd get together with friends and to create these festivals so we now have the um as Said said we have the Zanzibar International Film Festival the Busara Music Festival and also now we are creating a art exhibition. And he instigated them and then handed them over. And so his name is also connected with many other opportunities for young people for the Dow Country Music Academy. So young people can actually go and learn music and keep the traditional Tarab music moving forwards and also taking it further everything gets taken further he also created a Salme opera which has yet to emerge so we have people who are working on this opera the Emerson Zanzibar Foundation is organizing all these things so it's wonderful we now have awards for young Zanzibar musicians for filmmakers and now for artists which Luba has created and as you can see in your background there's a lot of very interesting art of which hopefully your um, viewers will be able to see a little bit more of. So I think that's it for me. Um, Emerson was all about bringing the youth up. He himself was a very fit person. So he's all about health, art, music, a very cultured man, a very interesting man who you would love to sit and talk to over a cocktail. Great, fantastic, thank you. Uh, now back to uh, Luba. Um, Maybe for those who do not understand what our curator does, could you tell us a little bit about what, what is exactly that you do? Yes, definitely. Um, a curator is quite a vague description of a person who cares for art and manages. It, it can be quite actually wide description of what curator does, but first and foremost, a uh, curator uh, finds the artworks and brings them together in one space. So that's the first task. And then it can go further. A curator uh, can be in charge of communicating, um, coaching the artists uh, towards the exhibition, helping them out with the selection of their artwork, uh, connecting the artists to the sellers, connecting the artists to people who will help promote their art, organizing an event, um, uh, attracting people that would be helpful in the artist's career. Uh, so it can go in so many different details as, as far as we get it. Okay, great. Uh, I will come back to you with a lot of questions, but uh, I would like to ask Salma how have you prepared for the visitors and what kind of events should your guests and the people who come to uh, see the exhibition expect? Well, first of all, I'd like to, uh, to announce the date. 
Um, it's going to be this coming Saturday, the 17th of July, uh, 2021. Um, really, really, really excited because we are going to have an event of, of the year where we'll have a red carpet. Uh, we'll have, hopefully, fingers crossed, the minister who is going to open up the exhibition. And of course, because it has to be um, the same way as how they've spoken about uh, Emerson Skin, somebody who was a, a very cultured man. He loved the Zanzibar culture and he respected the artist. So we we really wanted to do this event, you know, in, in memory of his uh, personality. So obviously the red carpet, um, traditional, well-dressed up, um, will have the the courtiers, you know, the, the something that is traditional in terms of a uh, flowery. Um, of course, one of the uh, parts that it's more important is uh, the, the guests that we're going to have. We have invited almost uh, all the government officials, all the ministries involved. We've also invited some embassies that are around and uh, consulars. Um, we've, we've also, you know, invited the, the, the businessmen, the, the hoteliers, uh, stakeholders of arts also, of course, because uh, in the end we'll have some auction of the, of, of the pictures that are going to be there. So yeah, it's, it's going to be uh, one of a kind of, I'm, I'm really nervous, but excited at the same time. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> so those are the people that are going to, to be. Yeah. Uh, back to Luba, uh, how many artists are there who are displaying their work and what is the theme, if uh, there is have, any? Yeah, we have over 30 artists currently displaying and uh, I think uh, 79 works of art. Um, we, of course, selected uh, the uh, best work by each artist or we had special criteria introduced it's also the first time in the history of um, artists seen here in Zanzibar that artists get acquainted uh, with selection criteria uh, because I think previously it was just done on, on the um, basis of just come and bring what you have and we'll just hang it and have a nice party. This time we're taking this as a process of learning for everyone including artists because after this exhibition the target is that they come out knowing what's happening on international scene and what rules and regulations are also applied and what's expected of them so it's not just an exhibition it's also a very uh, it's a continuous process of learning for everyone and uh, we are trying to bring in international standards to this exhibition um, as well. The theme of the uh, exhibition started as all things Emerson Zanzibar uh, because the idea came from one of the artists uh, to celebrate Emerson Spin's um, legacy in Zanzibar. But uh, we sat down together with foundation members and decided that maybe it could be a little bit too narrow as a topic. And so we expanded it more into how would Emerson Foundation of Zanzibar or Emerson brand um, interpret the culture and interpret the heritage of Swahili cult of Zanzibar? And since we see artists as visual storytellers of the island, uh, this is their task to interpret uh, what they see and to show the viewers. So the, uh, the theme took itself into a very expanded direction. And this time we tried to be uh, as accommodating and very inclusive because it's first a large exhibition of this kind. So we were not exactly very strict on selection, but uh, I think artists really made an effort and understood well the task. Another task and uh, condition was that they would take their cre creativity uh, step, one step up. 
uh, we had a few workshops um, where we talked about what creativity is, what creative process is, how to fuel it, uh, how to expand the topic, uh, how to take art from the uh, uh, basic level, which is used to just pay my living and just manage, to creating art for the sake of art. And probably it's, it's very important for artists of Zanzibar to have that space created for them at least once a year to experience that set time aside and create something from their soul as an artist. So I think um, a lot of them got the message and came up with uh, compelling works of art. And as we were unpacking them, there was a wow factor, which everybody has enjoyed. And we're looking forward to see the, um, the impact uh, these works of art are going to have on the viewers, on the, on the visitors. A, a great point. I have a question to Said. How are you going to use this event to have an impact on our society so that people will be um, um, uh, willing to, to be more interested in, in visiting exhibitions of art and, and such things? I think, uh, firstly, uh, although there isn't a strong tradition, but there is a tradition developing here, uh, that tradition in appreciation of the local arts. And I can tell you because local artists here or anyone who is involved in the art world, as long as that art uh, link uh, to uh, his, uh, will provide an income, of course, uh, it, often it leads to people taking an interest. Yes, what we are doing through major publicity here uh, in Zanzibar, and that is really the department of Salma, yeah? Uh, and she has been in charge in getting not just the obvious people who would come to the exhibition, uh, but to draw people who would no normally not uh, come even near our galleries and the museum. But it is reassuring that is, has been happening because uh, there have been few exhibitions uh, here uh, lately, and it directed a lot of people, though people who have an interest in art and and, and, and other. What I do hope uh, very much that his exhibition also will, will attract the business community because we need to engage with the business community. At the end of the day, these paintings need to be uh, bought and the artists co uh, could make a living. But as I say, uh, a growing tradition of appreciation in appreciation of art by local people here. But we need to see more of that. Uh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Um, how yeah, long is I the... wish to add. Yes. Sorry? Go ahead. I wish to add that I think this is really in celebration, the art exhibition is in celebration what four years ago, I refer to it as an uh, Amazon, Amazon, uh, uh, Emerson's, uh, that is an interpretive uh, design uh, by Emerson, because uh, the brief here for the artist, as Luba said, uh, that is to interpret the interpreter's work. And who was uh, the interpreter here? It's Emerson. He fell in love with the Swahili culture here, or Zanzibari culture. And honestly, uh, uh, sometimes you wonder, you are, when you're in this hotel, you are what you call uh, transported uh, to the days uh, or uh, that interior decors of the time, uh, times sort of have gone by, but still with the comfort of modern day uh, living here. Uh, so uh, it is actually a continuation. Uh, but uh, what I would also like to add here is that I met Emerson in his last days here and he died in 2014. What struck me very much, uh, excuse me, what struck me very much really is, was his, uh, uh, that in spite of his long drawn condition, uh, he bore it with all the fortitude and the cheerfulness to be expected of a such personality. However, what struck me most, uh, I should say, uh, me more, possibly than his physical courage was the fact that he made no reference of his own condition, but 
but only his hope and plans to make life better for the others. I think he embodied that message in those well-known lines, kindness to another and trouble, uh, kind, kindness in another, another's trouble, uh, courage in one's own. Indeed, his plans were realized notably in the form of the Emerson Foundation to support arts and education in Zanzibar, which we are carrying on. Thank you. Um, Salma, maybe uh, short, uh, briefly, could you run us through the whole program? I mean, from the 17th to, um, I think that is that two or three days? Um, um, yeah, from the 17th, July, 4 p.m. Yes, um, on the 17th of July, um, that will be a launching day which is again it's a it's a strictly invitees uh, that's when we'll have all the red carpet all the openings uh, we'll have a little bit of a short speech from the guest of honor we'll have um, a, a bit of a curator's uh, word uh, how the exhibition went and how uh, amazing the artists were um, after that launching day, then it will leave it to up to the judges. Uh, the judge will start working. They'll start assessing the, the, the artwork from the 17th uh, until the 23rd. Um, after the 23rd, the judges will, will submit the report and um, obviously will start working out on the, on the average marks and who the winner is. Uh, but the, the exhibition still goes on uh, from uh, 9 a.m. in the morning in the up morning. to the 4 p.m. in the evening. Uh, people will be going on and off, uh, free entrance. Everyone can go in. Uh, we will allow the, the stakeholders, you know, the, the, the art collectors to, to see what they're interested in. Um, the announcement will take place on the 26th. Uh, that's the day it will be again a small of a celebration where we'll you know invite uh, some few invitees uh, but not not as grand as the launching day but obviously we'll have a bit of a collection of medias where we'll have uh, the news delivered on public uh, when the the announcement is done um, after that obviously I'll have to add a little bit of extra there because on the day that we'll announce the winner after 3 p.m., uh, we will have uh, a bit of a post award ceremony of the film award because uh, this time, fortunately, we have got two awards at the same time. We've got obviously the launching, which we wanted to make some noise with the art award, but then we still have our film award going on because it is ZIF time. And obviously we've got the collection of all the films and we'll start assessing from tomorrow. Um, and uh, obviously on the 26th, the reason why we've put the 26th is because after the announcement, we'll have a, a party, a small cocktail uh, party at the Secret Garden. Uh, again, it's an invitees only to celebrate uh, the, the winner of the of the art award and at the same time at that time we'll have a winner of the film award who has been already um, announced on the 24th during the ZIF time so after that obviously we'll leave the room for for more uh, exhibitors to to i mean more stakeholders and art collectors and the visitors to go through uh, the artwork in the hotel uh, until the 30th of july and that will mark the end of our exhibition. Uh, hopefully by that time, we will have um, some of the collectors, I mean, had bought the artworks already um, and uh, the winners would have got their um, trophies and prizes at that time. Um, well, the winner's trophy, I mean, the winner's prize is going to be 2 million shillings. Um, cash uh, will also receive a trophy uh, made of glass and also a, a certificate of an acknowledgement 
uh, that uh, to go home with. But this time, again, with the Art Award, because we've got more than 90, or we have got 100 of paintings, and it would have been not fair if we've just got one winner as the normal tradition that we do with the awards that we only have one winner. But then we thought it would be much, you know, fair this time with the Art Award to have a, a second runner who is going to be given a little bit of cash, but then also is going to be given um, a, an opportunity to, to do the exhibition within the Amazon uh, Hotel uh, venue uh, throughout the year, um, whenever that has got his collection ready and he can have the space to um, exhibit his work or her work. And at the same time, he will be allowed to sell his or her work within the, the hotels, um, I mean, the, the guests or the people that will be coming to collect the artwork. So yeah, uh, that's how the, 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 the event is going to be. Sounds great. Um, fortunately, I'm going to miss all that. Luba, um, do you want to tell us a little bit about the judges? Uh, I think about the judges that we corrected, the foundation speaks about that because I, I made a choice not to participate in that because I would like to remain the neutral force for the artists to whom they can come, complain or give suggestions. Uh, and uh, I don't want to be biased because I do have preferences and I've seen all their work and I just would like to remain neutral. So I'll pass the word over to Najma or Saeed. Um, Salman, Najma, I mean Salman. Salman. <laughs> okay. Salman, sorry, <laughs> I wanted to give a word to you. <laughs> okay, good. I think um, the, the sourcing, the sourcing of the judges were, were was done collectively uh, through the board meeting, and um, I'm I'm just an event manager, so whenever we suggest, and then obviously the the final decisions went back to the board members who have decided, oh, we think this one, I mean, due to the, their bios. Of course, we, everyone collected their names in the list. And then we, we actually sat down on the board meeting and the board members uh, picked, uh, handpicked the people that thought this will be the, the best to judge uh, based on the expertise, the experiences and, and, and the knowledge they have within the, the art background. And at the same time, through the, you know, get uh, knowing those people uh, through the people that have also recommended. So, of course, I got the list in the end, uh, and we always have this uh, again tradition of having a odd number. And because it, it was again more than hundred paintings, it wouldn't have been fair to have just uh, you know two or three uh, judges. Then we extended to five judges. So we've got five judges. Um, I don't know if I should list them now because it's too early. Um, and no, it's maybe, but uh, there, what yeah. I would like to know, uh, maybe you could tell us, um, are they from Zanzibar or other parts okay. of the world? Are they mixed from different groups? Are they themselves artists or former okay. artists or okay. something like that? Um, well, we've, we've collected uh, through various uh, aspects of, 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 of judging. We've, uh, we've got... Uh, judges who are coming from a background of teaching uh, artwork so we've got teachers we've got um, also the real artists who do the paintings themselves but they've done it for for over i mean a certain period of time and then also we have got people who also collect the artwork as well so we've got eyes in different perspective and um, they are also a mixture yeah, of, of, of uh, a race, culture, and even country -wise. So we've got international artists, I mean, judges, and of course, we've also got the local artists. So it's, it's a mixture of, of, of everything, yes. Great. Um, Helen, any last words? Oh, um, okay. okay. So just to say, just to say that, I think that we all feel that this is a real privilege to present this art exhibition on behalf of the late Emerson. And that also this, this foundation that he set up that we are continuing with 
is um, supported by the hotels and we're also doing some fundraising as well so that we can take this work further for all the artists and creative young people in Zanzibar. So it's, it's wonderful to be able to talk to you today. Thank you very much. And um, I think that if people need any part, more information, they can get in contact with us through, um, through the Facebook, Instagram, et cetera, into um, the website. So, you know, we'd like to welcome everyone to come to this exhibition and to come and visit the hotels that were created by Emerson, to go to the festivals that were created by Emerson, go to the Dale Country Music Academy to see students learning instruments. You know, Zanzibar is a wonderful melting pot of people and places and creativity. So, Karibuni, as people say in Zanzibar, Karibuni Sana. Asante Sana, Helen. Um, I think uh, uh, it was great. And today with me from Zanzibar, I was with the team of the um, first um, Zanzibar art exhibition, Amazon Zanzibar Visual Arts Awards, starting from uh, July 17th. Uh, and it will run through um, July 30th, I think, is that correct? Yeah. And uh, correct. In, be in between also the usual film festival will take part and other uh, fantastic events. It is the place for art lovers, film lovers that you need to go and check it out. If you are from Zanzibar or outside the country, I truly recommend i've been there myself at the museum and unfortunately i was supposed to take part at the film festival but um due to covid and i had my first vaccine so and through zoom thank you very much for being with me saeed any last words for me hello yes any last words from you saeed we're closing well i should like to say that i mean it's very inspiring and heartening to see the oh sorry uh, to see the people who have uh, won the film and uh, music awards, the kind of thing they've gone to do it. They've been able to make new films as well. And it's opened up opportunities and so on. So, uh, and we follow up these people. They are part of our small community here. Uh, so we just don't give awards and then and money and then we forget people or are they abandoned them? No, we don't do that. We really uh, interact with them and we celebrate their further success and so on. And I think Amazon would have uh, very much like this. Uh, we, we should, uh, I think, continue to celebrate the accomplishment of the uh, talents, gifts of all kinds, uh, uh, that uh, really uh, human being has been so fortunate uh, to be given. <laughs> And on that note, uh, thank you very much for giving us, giving us an airtime to celebrate uh, uh, the legacy of Amazon in the form of the art exhibition. Thank you.